Today I want to tell you a story. It was Veterans Day 2012. I was driving through West Virginia on my way home from a job and I stopped at a gas station to refuel the truck. I was absentmindedly staring off when a gentleman who had pulled in two pumps down approached me. He wore a sullen expression and reached out for a handshake and a brief introduction. In an exasperated tone, he explained to me that he was a member of the US military flashing an ID badge as he did so. He explained to me that he was out of fuel and money and asked if I would be able to help him along. In nearly any circumstance when a stranger approaches me in a parking lot looking for money, I have a default response. I will simply apologize, explain that I don't carry cash, and wish them well. But it was Veterans Day and I felt a compulsion to help him out. I told him I'd do so, so I looked at the number of the pump his truck was parked at, walked inside, found an attendant, and dropped a 20 on the counter. I walked out, the man graciously thanked me, ran to the pump, I hopped in my truck and took off. And for the next 15 minutes, I was driving down the interstate feeling so proud of myself for helping somebody out that day until a thought crossed my mind. A thought that I felt guilty could even cross my mind. But I couldn't get this thought out of my head, so I pulled to the side of the road, looked up the phone number, and called the gas station. For some reason, I had remembered the cashier's name, asked to speak with him, and he got on the phone. When he got on, I briefly described who I was, and he, of course, remembered the transaction. I said, I have to know, did the guy use the entire 20 for fuel? I heard him let out a deep sigh on the other side of the phone as he knew he was about to explain to me exactly what I had feared happened. No, $2.17 on fuel. He used the change to buy cigarettes. And this is why I have a problem. It all comes down to vices and luxuries. Sure, every person out there should have some way to be able to survive, and I am all on board for helping those people out. But we should only be helping to provide the necessities, the things that you would pack into a bomb shelter. If it doesn't serve a practical purpose, then it's out. You should just not have the ability to check the balance of your food stamps on an iPhone to see if you have enough to buy steaks. Now, when I had sat down to write this video today, I had a completely different direction that I wanted it to go in, but as I started writing, the more I realized I couldn't tell you how you should feel about this, I wanted you to tell me how you felt about this. So basically what I want to do is pose a few questions and just get as many people engaged in a real conversation in the comments, and I plan to join in on that conversation. So for question number one, even if a significant percentage of people are taking advantage of a system, what are the ethics behind changing that system that can negatively impact those people that are using it for all of the right reasons? Question number two, what do you guys think about a voucher system, so to speak, or a way to better manage how people spend their welfare dollars? Because I'm here to tell you that that day I would have much rather given that guy a $20 fuel credit that had to be used on fuel, opposed to just dropping a 20 down. And as a follow-up to that, is the government becoming far too hands-on at that point if we're able to control how these people spend those dollars, and are the circumstances different because they're not necessarily earning those dollars? Keep it objective, think out your responses, and I will see you in the comments down below.